Right, we're going to do a video today on Freelander 2 battery, which lives in there. But before we go and look at the battery, I'm going to show you how to get it out. It's fairly easy, but it's it's kind of fairly complicated as well. So I'm going to show you how to get your battery out, how to change it. And also we'll cover a bit of battery maintenance. So these old Freelanders, they can be a bit battery heavy. If you've got the sound cranked up and you're cruising along with the heaters and the lights on, if you do short journeys, they often need a top up. So we always recommend, I don't even get any money off them, C-Tech battery chargers. Um, so every once in a while it is worth putting your battery on charge. These C-Techs are great, you can get it the wrong way around. Now if you think your battery is suspect, as it was on our Project Freelander, there is actually a way you can test it. Now this little, I don't even know how this works, this is like witchcraft in a sort of blue plastic case. And what you do is you connect it on a battery and it tells you how much... Right, let me just have a look here, George. Where's the plus and the minus? I can't see for looking. There's a minus there. All right, so if you get a good grip on it, this is going to tell us how much capacity the battery's got left in it. So battery capacity is measured in amp hours. So this one actually won't even read it. It's saying I've put it on charge and it won't even read it. So I can't even test. That's flat. So that's... If after charging it, you've got nothing you pooped. So that one's no good. Right, so let's go for this one, which is an old battery I've had around for years, but it was enough to start it the other day. So this is going to power up. So when it's powered up, I will do a little test on it, and it will tell me how many amp hours the capacity of that battery has. Blimey, George, that's taking a while to power up, isn't it? There you go. Set to calibrate. We don't need... Right, so it's got 13 volts, which is good. Press to test, but you've got to press it when it says press to test. It's a bit... Right, so it's testing the amp hours. So here we go. Now, on every battery, it should tell you how many amp hours it should have. Right, test complete. 70 amp hours there. So that's got 70 amp hours. That's, now, how much should it have, George? Let's have a look. It should tell me on here. Why can't we see it, George? That's the starting current, which is different to the capacity. Um, but that doesn't sound bad. Let's have a look at this one. This is our brand new one we bought. Let's have a look at it. Oh, look, this one's got it. Those Alfred ones. So this should have 74. So it's a similar size battery. So 70 amp hours looks pretty good to me. Now, if I can work out how to get into this, it looks like we've got some little covers on here. Oh, I'm not a big fan of cheap batteries. I'm, I'm a big fan of spending a bit more and getting a Bosch battery. I've been, I don't use the cars enough, as you've probably worked out. Right, so let's have a look what this one's got. I haven't charged it up, this is as it came. Let's have a look how it does. Set to calibrate, right, as required. Right, 12.6 volts, right, press the test. Hold on, I've got to get it when it says press the test, there you go. So we're looking for something close to 74. 73, you can't get much closer than that. So, there we go, so this... So if you've got an old battery, charge it up. But these, these are about £200. But if you know someone that's got one, they're well worth having. Right. Okay. Next step, we'll get in and have a look in there after you remove your battery. Right. So we've got the bonnet up. Right. So the battery lives under here. And you can pull these little tabs at the top. They're a bit weird. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to do. And it sort of slides it forward a bit. You've got these two little ledges here that sit under these little clamps there can you see those quite joy there's a little lip they sit under right so that's your battery cover they always get lost those do right okay and there we have our battery right now all you're going to need is a 10 mil socket and you're going to need a couple of cable ties right so i've worked out what i think is the best way of doing this we did do this when we bought it george didn't we but we we're all a bit rushed and hectic so i thought i'll go over it again slowly right disconnecting the battery so you need to be careful this here is the positive terminal, and if you create a short with your tool from the positive onto the engine, metal work anywhere, you are going to create a short and it's all going to get horrible. So you're better off disconnecting the negative first. So let's get safe and disconnect that negative. So 10 mil. Now can you see that socket, that bolt we're going on there, George? So it's the one that's sort of coming up at a weird angle. So don't worry about all the other bolts there. And you don't need to loosen it off you just need to loosen it a couple of turns and then if you wriggle the cable like that first before you try and lift it off and then lift it off that's it now what 
Right, what we're going to do now, and you back off a bit, George, we're going to pull this rubber bit out of here because this is going to give us a bit more room. So if I pull this, pull this up, there you go. Sorry, I was in the way then. Right, and move that round the side there a bit. Right, and I'm going to start cable tying this up. Right, what do I do with those cable ties? There we go. Right, so I'm just going to put a cable tie round here onto this little web here because that's going to help keep that out of the way. The problem you've got when you're putting the battery, lifting it out, oh, don't want it right. Now, when we disconnect this, we'll, right, then I'm gonna disconnect this little connector here. We need to push in here. Can you see this on the side here, George? So if we push that in, and then we can pull that out, okay? So that's gonna help keep all that out over the back in a minute. Right, now let's disconnect the positive, because we'll, so again, 10 millimeter socket. We don't need to do it too much. A couple of turns, and then give him a wiggle. All right. Okay, now, here as well, we've got to lift this rubbery bit out of here. Okay, now, this should enable us to move this one this way and, and move all that that way. Tighten that up a bit. And what we're trying to get is a clear space to get this battery out of. And I'm going to use this other cable tie here. And where am I going to go around here? I'm just going to go around the... It's only that wire there, that airflow sensor. Just be careful you don't kill it too much. Right, well that should now give us enough room with that out of the way and these out. Ah, but the one we forgot last time is this is your breather tube. As your battery charges, it can give off some gases. So that should just pull out of there and you can tuck that out of the way. Right, and now we should be able to ready with everything out of the way to get the handles. And I think it's gonna sort of come out that way. Ah, but not, because we have a mechanical fixing. Just when you think you're there. So I've colored it in orange. Yours won't be orange. And this is a clamp that clamps the battery down. Should we edit that bit out, George, or leave it in? Leave it in. Leave it in. People know I'm rubbish, don't they? You try your best. I try my, thanks, George. See, what a supportive son you are. You don't put me in my place ever, do you, George? No. No. We're one of those functional families, aren't we, George? Mm -hmm. Of course. Of course. All right, then. Oh! Right. Let's get having it now. Right. So what have we got here, George? So, this is a clamp, and obviously as you tighten this down, it clamps onto the lip at the bottom of the battery. And that edge sort of goes around the front corner of the battery. Um, battery clamp, good job. Right, now, oof, limber up. All right, there we go. Go on. Go on, go on. I can do this. There we go. So that's the battery. Um, it should be pretty much the same getting the other one in. I had the Hoover out, I had loads of leaves and all sorts in there. So it's probably worth giving a good clean up in there. And the other tip is if you're gonna put that battery back, put some copper grease on this threaded bit here. So there we go, that's the, oh, one other thing I was gonna say. If you do struggle with your battery going flat and you've got the C-Tech, what you could actually, you could wire this onto the battery terminals here, and then each time you connect your C-Tech, if you do it regularly, you've just got this little handy connection there, ready and waiting for you. Obviously make sure you get the negative terminal at the back, positive at the front, the same way round. Also, um, on the battery, you'll have a little plug in here, a little blanking plug, um, which you should better get some pliers on, he says. Might have been easier if I did that before it was in the car. Oh, come on. Oh, he's, a, he's a fiddly thing. There you go. I'll make that look harder. And obviously remember to put your your uh, breather back in. Like, like so. And obviously remember to put all your connections on, including that small connection. And you'll need a pair of cuts to cut your cable ties off. I'll get on and do that. But there we go. Good luck with that. Right. The original battery, we've come across a complication. The original battery we had was 31 centimetres long. The replacement we've got is about 28. And what it means is 
when you go to put it in, the rear cable, which is the earth cable, can't reach. Now, if you look down in here where the bolt goes, there are two bolt positions. Can you see both of those, George? There's one here. Yeah. yeah. I'll do the arrows on that when I edit it, George. And there's another one further back. Now, this bracket here, this corner bracket here, wants to go around the front of the battery. But if you look now, it doesn't line up with the hole because before it was forward here. So, but what I notice now is it doesn't line up with the hole, but the back hole in here, if you look up here, George, the back hole in this lines up with the back hole in there. So I'm gonna have to remove this here. So if you've got the shorter battery, you've got these two holes. So I'm gonna, but it's got one of these anti-loss washers on there. So I'm just gonna work out how I can, I don't know if I can hold it, let's try with a bit of pair of pliers. Have a quick go. I don't know if I can hold the washer and un, not exactly their cutters, not pliers. Bit of bodgery going on here. Bodging alert. Let me see if I can thread that out. What have I put my socket? And can I spin that fixing? Look, can you see that's going now, isn't it? So I'm holding that thin washer, and now I'm gonna take that out of that one. There we go. Now I'm gonna put that back in. Oh, I need some more hands. And put that back in there. And the anti these anti-loss washers are way cool. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I may have to hold that with a pair of pliers and spin that on. Oh, that's gonna hurt my fingers. Yeah, let's have some pliers, I've got some pliers here. Just when I thought I'd have this mastered, George. Right, is that spinning in? Yep. Oh, look at that. No, it will actually work its own way down. But let me get it. Let me get it down as close as I can. I'll clamp the two together. Right. Should have got Alfred to do it for me then. Right then. Right, so let's see now if that lines up. George's Andy torch. Right, so there's the back hole there. It's, hopefully that now lines up with that. And that front edge, if you look right down and point your torch towards the front a bit, George, move your torch forward, that's it. You see how that front corner has matched that. So there we go. And now what you'll find, without that, when you go to put the earth cable on, whoa, it, was, it wasn't reaching. You have to make sure your battery's right at the back for that one to go on there. So I'm gonna put all this back together. I'm gonna put all those rubber bits back on there. I'm gonna get all these tight and I'm gonna get this little connection back in here. And then, Put the cover on we're done done finally done now absolutely totally done no more add-ons end of the film done goodbye